Hello friends, welcome to Amazoft Webcast and in today's video demonstration we are going to see how to perform an offline domain join in Active Directory. Microsoft introduced the offline domain join tool djoin.exe in Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2, allowing system administrator to join Windows Server or a client operating system to an Active Directory domain when there is no connectivity to a domain controller. There are a couple of scenarios where this can come in handy. First, domain join operations don't always work reliable over wide area network connections, even when there is a connectivity to a remote domain controller. Second, offline domain joins can be performed as a part of an unattended Windows installation. So for this demo, I have a domain controller running on Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition and a client computer that is running on Windows 10 Evolution Edition. So this is my domain controller and the name of my domain controller is srt this is one The name of my domain is mylab.local and the IP address of my domain controller is 192.168.49.5. Now there are two steps to the offline domain join process. Provisioning a computer account in an Active Directory and then joining a desired computer to Active Directory. To provision a computer account in Active Directory, you must have a connectivity to a DC. The djoin.exe tool can only be run on a Windows 7 and Server 2008 R2 or later operating system. So let's see the first step how we can provision a computer account in Active Directory. And for that, you have to log on to a computer that is a member of the domain. And the account you log on with must have permission to add workstation to the domain. For this demonstration, I am using my domain administrator and I will be performing this task on my domain controller. So let's right click on a start button and select command prompt with admin credential. On a command prompt, we have to run a command djoin slash provision slash domain. And here you have to specify the database name of your domain. In my case, that is mylab. Then you have to specify the switch slash machine. And then you have to specify the name of our client computer. In my case, that is srt-cli01 slash save file. And then you have to specify the path. Now let's specify c users administrators desktop and slash win10.txt. Now hit enter key. Okay, so as you can see. Provisioning the computer successfully provisioned SRT FMCLI01 in the domain MyLab. And this is the location where the file is stored. If the djoin provision commands complete successfully, you will see a new computer account in your computer's container under Active Directory. Let's click on Tools, select Active Directory Users and Computers, click on Computers Containers, and here we can see a computer account is there named SRT CLI01. And uh, if you see on uh, our desktop, this is the file name uh, win10.txt, which is uh, created during the djoin provision command. So this is the location of our text file. Before you can join your offline machine to the domain, it must have access to this file, which we created during the djoin slash provision command. So for that. We have to copy this win10.txt file to our Windows 10 client computer. And then we are able to perform an offline domain join on our Windows 10 computer. So let's move to our Windows 10 client computer. So this is my client computer. If you see the uh, property, as you can see, the computer name is srt-cli01. And this computer is a part of our group. Let's uh, close this console. And this is the file which already I copied from our domain controller. Now we are ready to perform an offline domain join on this computer. So let's perform an offline domain join on this computer. So first of all, we have to open the command prompt with uh, admin. Click on yes. And on a command prompt, we have to run a command djoin slash request odj then uh, slash we have to specify the command load file and then we have to specify the path to that text file in our case it is users slash uh, admin slash desktop and then the name of our file that is win10.txt 
then we have to specify the switch windows path then percentile system root percentile and then we have to specify local os the slash local os switch is required when running d join slash request offline domain join on an online image offline domain join can also be performed against offline virtual hard drive images now let's hit enter key and as you can see the loading provisioning data from the following file c colon slash user slash admin slash desktop slash win 10 dot txt the provisioning request completed successfully a reboot is required for changes to be applied the operation completed successfully now let's see the system property again and this time you can see a computer name is srt hyphen cli01 the full computer name is srt hyphen cli01 dot mylab dot local and the computer is still in a work group let's close this let's uh, close this command prompt and let's restart the windows 10 computer once the machine has a reboot let's again log into our user and remember this is the our local user okay now let's see the system property again just right click on start button select system and as you can see now this computer is a part of our domain name mylab.local remember that you will only be able to log on with a domain account for the first time if there is a connectivity to your domain controller else you are not able to log in with your domain account so this is the way how we can perform an offline domain join in a active directory and that's it for this video demonstration thanks for watching this video